So I did several videos on uh, lubricating my key bushings with Pro Felt, and also I did uh, replace some of the bushings in the front using the Bushmaster. I had two videos on that. But even after that, my keys are still incredibly heavy in, in their weight in all different weights so it's it's really difficult to play this keyboard I think most of the problem is the new hammers that I got that are just a whole lot heavier than they should be or at least I uh, I put them in the same place as the old hammers were but you might have to move them down a little bit to lessen the weight but then they wouldn't fit where they're supposed to be when they hit the string. They might hit uh, either the soundboard, well, they hit the other end where the uh, capodestra bar is. Anyway, um, you use one of these weight things to measure the key weight. And That's that's 70 grams, so it pushes down most of the white keys, but the uh, the black keys barely move at 70 grams. It's supposed to be 50 grams. So, yeah, that one doesn't even move. This is difficult to use because on the black keys they tend to fall off, and you have to manually keep adjusting the number of weights you have on here. And it's just time-consuming so I made this little device to measure weights on the keys it's, I made it out of uh, 3d printed uh, PLA so I have a little lead weight here as a counterbalance and I have the uh, place with felt on it where it touches the keys and then I just use this as my weight and I put it in the slide here so it can tell me I calibrated it with uh, I calibrated it with this gram scale by putting uh, this on here so I've got I marked off all the different weights by putting this here, I'm using leverage so I can get over 70. I can go all the way up to 100. So it goes from 25 to 100 by sliding this thing. This was based on a device that I saw in a video, but I changed the design to make it work better for me because their thing I think was all the way over here anyway we can see that uh, 85 is too heavy for this key but let's see okay 50 is good 55 60 it's supposed to be 50 and this is barely moving at 60 65 even has resistance 70 grams will make it move now the uh, <clears throat> black keys are much worse probably because they have less leverage here so you can see this doesn't even move at 65 or 70 75 80 it moves and it's supposed to be 50 so you can see this would be impossible to play because <laughs> all the keys are different weights so as I said part of it is the new hammers I put on and part of it is resistance in the key bushings but some of these are really loose so I don't see how that is much of a problem I think it's all the heavy hammers and the hammers and, and leverage because the black keys are shorter and they just don't 
have the leverage to balance it out. So, I went through and measured a bunch of the keys using this thing. And this is what I came up with. There's a few that are 60. 60 is okay. If they were all 60, it would be playable. This is 65. All the yellow ones are around 60. There's nothing really less than 60. The red ones are between 60 and 70. And uh, there's some that are even higher. Like this one. I used the blue for the really heavy ones. That one's 80. <laughs> and I think that one there is... I can hear the felt rubbing on the bushing when I play it. So... Anyway, so the black ones are even worse. <laughs> this one's 95, but that one is rubbing also. So some of them I am going to have to uh, play with the uh, bushing on the front. So it's going to be very hard to uh, get all these down to 50. <laughs> I'm going to have to put in some weights on the in the wood drill a hole with it in it and put in a lead weight to balance everything out um, but first I'm going to go through and lubricate all the felt with PTFE powder and then some of the bushings I'm going to re redo the profile with uh, a wider call than I was using before.